Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a fish scale or a mermaid shirt, whichever one you want to call it. So to begin, I'm going to fold my shirt in half and I'm trying to get it lined up really well and smooth out as many of the wrinkles as I can. Then I'm going to fold it in half again. With the sleeves left over, what I'm going to do with those is I'm going to take one and I'm going to fold it to the front side of the shirt and make it fit within this width of the fabric. So I'm going to fold it until it fits in here. Then I'm going to turn the shirt over and do the same thing with the second sleeve. Now that the shirt is folded, it's time to draw on my design. For this design, I'm just going to use a washable marker on the front side and hand draw on the design. This design, when you draw it on, looks kind of like a shark's tooth. After hand drawing on the design on the front side, I decided to try and see if I could make a stencil and try that on the back side. So what I did is I took a piece of plastic cutting board and a sharpie and just traced over one of the portions of the design I had hand drawn on the front. I wasn't happy with the way that one looked. So I just did another one on the same piece of cutting board. Then I cut it out with a pair of scissors, turned the shirt over, and tried using that as a stencil on the back side. Even though the stencil wasn't a perfect fit, I still ended up liking it better than I like the hand drawn on design, partially because it helped keep all of my design consistent in size. And so I went ahead and used it, just kind of moved it around a little bit until I liked the way it looked, used the curved portion that I had cut out of the stencil.
since I like the design on the back side better, that's the side that I'm going to use to fold. You really only need to put the design on one side, but because I wanted to experiment using a stencil, that's the reason why I have the design on both the front and the back. I'm going to ignore the one on the front and only use the design that I stenciled on the back. Each one of these lines I'm going to fan fold, and I'm going to tie it up with some sinew. I'm going to tie the sinew really tight because I'd like for it to have nice white lines between all of the different fish scales. Okay, now that the design is totally tied, it's time to start applying the dye. I've mixed up some Dharma colors for this one. I'm using Blueberry, Lapis, and Baby Blue. The Blueberry I'm putting along all of the sinew lines, so that'll be straight down the middle that I'm going to put the Blueberry. Then to either side of the Blueberry, I'm using Lapis, and then on the very outer portion, I'm going to put the baby blue. Then I'm going to turn my shirt over 
and use the same color pattern on the back side of the shirt. Okay, here's how our fish scale shirt turned out. Listen, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's really easy. All you have to do is just hit that big red subscribe button. Thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.